uh, leading the chefs and the stewards uh, daily basis, meaning uh, from the service to uh, preparing food to purchasing to um, until you know 24 hour basically. Education you need to become a chef or the executive chef. Do you need a culinary degree? It's usually you get them after high school or a higher education. Um, experience, which uh, most likely you have to uh, pick up experience working in different places, different uh, environment, um, styles, you pick up styles and uh, eventually you reach the point when your knowledge is uh, widens and you're able to you know, handle uh, different situations and pressures and, uh, and style of cookings. The most important skill I need to do my job is uh, food knowledge. Food knowledge is the most important thing I need to do my job. Not only uh, to, to know all the dishes or the items that are going in there, but uh, make sure that you serve a quality product and a safe product. So uh, it's not enough just to make sure you cook the, cook the piece of item of meat or fish or, or vegetable, but make sure you don't get uh, somebody get sick out of it. You know, that's, it's safe, safe to consume it. Personal trait you need uh, to do my job is uh, have to be extremely organized and uh, calm, collective. Sometimes need to be a coach. Um, have to be extremely organized. After high school, I went to a, a culinary school in Budapest, and I was trained in a three-star restaurant. Uh, back in Europe, the system in the culinary system works that uh, you go to school two days and you work in a restaurant uh, three days or four days, so you get a three-year uh, uh, internship basically, constantly uh, hands-on training. And you get a basic education in school twice a week, meaning uh, mathematics, uh, biology, chemistry, and so on and so forth. I think uh, someone, some young person would like to uh, uh, join our industry, I think they should start uh, investigating uh, our industry or get a job on a basic level that able to see it from uh, even if it's a boss boy position they give you a view into the operations um, you get a wear on that ID that what take to stand 20 or hours a day and work five six days a week and uh, after after you see that in any position if you work in, in a kitchen as a prep cook, as a dishwasher, as a busboy, a waiter, server, bartender, you would know after a couple of weeks that that's for you or not. First you check it out that you like it, that you're able to do it, because it's physical also, standing on your feet all day, but you have to be ready to give up your holidays, your weekends, um, summertime, a beach, wintertime skiing, uh, New Year's Eve, because those uh, time usually your industry is busy and you have to work and most people celebrate you you servicing it